All right, I'm doing another series of alcoholing basics. This one's using just your movement of your paper. And I only hit it with the heat right at the very, very end. But you can get some nice blends by just by twirling your paper. So hang on and let's get to it. This is Claire Lawrence. All right, so we're gonna work on some alcohol ink basics. And this one is about blending by moving the paper around. So we can do this with or without heat. I've got my trusty little dry hand dryer handy. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little bit of puddle with just a little bit of alcohol. A uh, little bit of gold. And that's a gold solution that's submerged with alcohol and then a little bit of green and what I'm gonna do here is kind of cup it the paper in and then just slowly start moving it around get some really pretty blends this way. Get some color out to the edge, bring it down and around. What's nice about it is you can guide your color to stay at a certain edge too. So like I can have it go light to dark right here and just hold that back and forth a little bit while it's drying and evaporating. Of course you have to wait for the evaporation, that takes a little bit. Well, the other neat thing about it is you can also get a two-toned type of a blend. Notice how I'm bringing it back and I can have a line there so it's like dark right in the middle. Keep it right there. direction you may get some resistance where it picks up some of the gold so we'll have to see what happens there just kind of show you in the next few videos different ways that you can manipulate and move your colors around And then you put them together and create your own masterpiece. You might need a little bit more alcohol in that. Just giving something for the um, ink to move with. It's kind of like watercolor. But kind of not. All right, so you see how that's moving a lot less. That's by adding less alcohol. And you'll get really dark lines. And all you need to do if you want to rid of that, add some more alcohol for it to move. Go back over your lines, reactivate those. Let's 
just keep moving it around till you get something that you really like here. Which I've also got this thing curved and cupped and come on, it's like close up that one little hole. Okay, fine. Sometimes it needs help. What I'm gonna do is encourage this to go down a bit. Interesting color. This is uh, what is this? Everglades by Ranger, and you see it's got some yellow bits that it leaves around, almost kind of an okra. I'm go this this way a little bit. Let's see if I can get a wide area. sometimes just to add a little bit of ink. I get too excited and I want to just go for it. All right, so kind of squishing that around, incorporating the gold and the alcohol. Let's see if I can create a shape I like. Remember, when you bring the alcohol up, it collects some of the ink and brings it back down. So you can continue to lighten an area. It's harder when it's really saturated with colors. But it can happen. shape a little bit. There we go, now it's starting to evaporate. You're really zoomed in. All right, got this really curved here, so I'm going to see if I can get it to collect in the middle of it. If you're really worried about using like heat guns and things like that, this is a good way to do it. Um, my primary tool is a just a little travel hair, hair dryer. Some people do um, airbrush guns, but they also you need a compressor for that. Now, however, I highly recommend them too. Okay, so it's not really not moving much. The gold's moving. You can probably see it shimmering a little bit. But the green's pretty much done. Alright, I'm gonna bring you down here. Alright, 
right, so this is just with movement only, and I hit it with the heat right at the very end. But you can see, you can still get some nice gradations, some nice shapes, just by simply moving, adjusting, and bending. I wouldn't recommend creasing your paper and just, you know, being gentle with it. Shoot, you probably do this while watching the movie. All right, so hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Hey, girl.